a almost 20 year old Harley Davidson soft tail. And yeah, I'm wearing a woman's jacket because uh, it dropped 30 degrees while we were making the deal. And this was the only thing in my truck. Almost 20 years old, 18 years old. I know the tires are also 18 years old. So we'll see if that's gonna make it home. And also uh, the gas, it has 16, actually 1800 miles on it. So not ridden at all. It sounds nice, but there are a lot of problems with bikes when you buy them and they haven't been ridden before. It's 20 years old, it's carbureted, it's cold, and who knows how old the rest of the gas is on in there. So we'll see if we can even get it started. And then we'll see if it makes it home about 40 miles to Biker Dad World Headquarters. So I got plenty of looks on the drive home wearing my uh, wife's tight little denim jacket. I got home and she's in my truck and went to go pick up my daughter from soccer practice. So I don't have keys to get in the house or uh, the garage door opener. So I'm gonna have to wear the little jacket for a little bit longer until she gets home. Anyway, the uh, 2005 Softail standard that I just picked up, a uh, 30 mile ride. Probably should not have ridden a bike that I knew had tires on it that were 18 years old and had been sitting around, but it did anyway, cause I'm stupid. Back tire definitely has a flat spot in it. It's dry rotted and has been sitting in the same space, in the same place. So the back tire has a flat spot from dry rot. I could feel it thumping on the road, especially at slow speeds. The turn signals went out. So the turn signals are out. The, the middle brake light here worked, but these did not. So I was worried I didn't have any brake lights. I know I had no turn signals at all. And then one other thing is the uh, check engine light came on. Now that could be something really simple and nothing, or it could be, it's been sitting around forever and gaskets are dry rotted. But I'm gonna be taking this to Mobile Bay Harley Davidson to talk to Neil. We're gonna do a little tech tip on um, buying an older bike like that's that's been sitting around. 2005, it's 2023, so it's 18 years old. It has, it just flipped over to 1,900 miles. Yes, I said 1,900, not 19,000. 1,900 miles on the way home. A bike sitting around like that is going to have some problems, and we're going to go through this bike and sort any of those out and make sure that um, before I ride it anymore or pass it along to somebody else, everything works on it right, and especially that it's safe. One of the things I've noticed right here yeah, that says S and S. But what I want to know is it just the S and S air filter, or uh, is there some more going on in this engine? I'm also going to see if Neil at Mobile Bay Harley Davidson can help me figure that out. And I know it has these Vance and Hines short shots, which I also have on my Dyna, only they're blacked out and they sound great. They're great pipes, great set of exhaust. So we know it's at least stage one, in 2005. So it's 88 cubic inches engine and a five speed uh, transmission. A lot of people don't like the five speed, it does not bother me. This is not a bike I'm riding all the way across the country. I'm just riding across town on it. So that's pretty cool. I see a little tiny bit of surface rust here and there. So we're gonna get that cleaned up. That should be really easy because this thing was kept inside. I mean, it's 20 years old almost. So it was kept inside the whole time. In fact, almost never ridden. So what well, little surface rust has on it, I think is probably gonna be pretty easy to get off. Anyway, I think we found a great bike and I'm gonna have to decide what to do with it. I think at this point, um, I'm just gonna get it cleaned up and sorted and get everything on it perfect. So I can pass it along to somebody else who looks the bike just the way it is um, because it has a ton of chrome everywhere. Even the grips are chrome. Not my style. If you know me, I take chrome off of stuff. I think it'd be a shame to do it to this bike. So I think I'm gonna find somebody who wants it just like it is. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a lot more for you on the soft tail buy and build and um, a lot less of my wife's little denim jacket.